I'm Fan of Wheels, I'm here with another MCSG episode. Today we're on Icarus Fallen, the revamped kind of version of Icarus that I haven't played too much. However, as you guys may know, if you follow me on Twitter, the past few days have not been the best for me. And, you know, actually they've been kind of crappy to say the least, but it's a snow day. Uh, a storm has actually been hitting the northeast, uh, northeastern United States. Um, so if you're part of that region, then I guess you're really lucky because you might not have school today or tomorrow even. Uh, I most likely will be having school tomorrow though because it hasn't snowed much here in Virginia. Obviously, Virginia is not the coldest of places in the United States, so not as much snow as other areas and probably um, not going to have school or probably am going to have school tomorrow, so... You know, although I will have school tomorrow, most likely, I'm still kind of happy because getting those six hours of sleep was definitely something I needed. It gets me back in my energetic sort of mood, and um, I'm willing to go ahead and try to get a few recordings or, you know, just one or whatever. Um, I'll try to keep myself more consistent, guys, but when it comes to, you know, IRL problems and, you know, just parts in life where I'm just not feeling too well, I'm just feeling kind of kind of uh, demotivated and just sad overall. I really can't do too much about it. And if there's something that I really am against when it comes to YouTube is trying to fake emotions. Like, you know, trying to fake a laugh or fake uh, you being energetic. Um, you can really tell sometimes when you're faking um, being happy. And I don't want to fake fake that just just f to upload a video. You know, I want to upload a video in my true state. And honestly, most of you guys probably don't want to see me recording a video when I'm all, you know, kind of depressed and stuff. So don't worry, though. I'm feeling a lot much better thanks to some of my friends, uh, many good friends out there. And I want to thank you all for that. Uh, I'm really privileged to have uh, some of you. I, I can really say that. Um, and actually, this resource pack that we're using today comes from Solar Flare. He was kind enough to gift it to me. Um, it, he hasn't released it publicly yet, which is why I will not be able to give it to you guys uh, this video at least. Um, but, however, if you are looking forward to get this pack, uh, just take a look at Solar Flare's channel. He's going to be releasing it publicly somewhat soon, I assume. I'm not too sure when. Uh, but if you really want this first pack, uh, I suggest go subscribe to him, maybe, and, you know, just wait till it's released. It's, it's a really awesome resource pack, especially the custom sky, and just everything about it, especially the swords. The swords are something I really do enjoy. This kind of type of swords, where it's kind of small and really detailed, I really like it, and, you know, I gotta give credit to whoever made this. It's really awesome. Um, however, today we have sort of a serious topic. I'm just kind of in the mood to talk about a serious topic, and this was actually suggested by one of the users in the comments. I don't actually remember your name, but hey, if you know who you are and you're watching this video right now, uh, please make sure to comment down who you are, and, you know, don't try to fake, don't try to fake it and say, oh, it was me, when it wasn't actually you who commented, because, you know, I, I can probably tell when it, when it was or it wasn't you. Uh, but today's topic is actually animal abuse. And it sounds like a serious topic, and obviously it is, but I want to kind of talk about it because it's been happening lately, and it still happens to this day, and I want to give my own opinions on it, and maybe have you guys reflect on them, I guess, I don't know. Um, but anyway, basically, f the first thing that comes into my mind when I think of animal abuse is this one video I saw on Facebook not too long ago, actually. Uh, somebody posted on Twitter this link to a Facebook video. Um, it's a really sad video, and as much as I'd like to show you guys, I don't actually have the link to the video, so I can't really link it, link it in the description. In fact, Facebook might have just removed the video overall, since it's kind of inappropriate, and well, not inappropriate, but it's very graphic, and it's really cr cruel to the animals that were harmed in it. Um... But, and even then, even if I did have the link to the video, I don't know why you guys would want to watch it, especially since it's such a sad and, it's such a sad video, and I don't know why you guys would want to have your day ruined by such a stupid little thing. Um, but anyway, I guess I'll go through a basic rundown of what the video was about and what happened. There was this one guy, I'm not too sure where he was in, he, he seemed like he, he was in a, kind of a rundown neighborhood, I would say, and he was hanging around with his squad, or his, or his crew, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, there were kind of like joking around, wh whatever you would normally do with your squad, I guess. Um, and they see this little stray dog uh, over there in the corner of the street. One of the little boys actually goes to the dog. He grabs the dog by the tail and starts spinning him around. Oh my god, a deathmatch is coming. This is really quickly. Oh my god. Uh, I'll have to go through this kind of quick. But he starts spinning the dog around. 
Uh, the dog spins so fast, the, the boy lets go of the dog, the dog goes flying somewhere, who knows where. And as much as I'd like to tell you guys that the dog's okay, and that the boy got punished, uh, you know, rightly, I can't really say that, I don't have too much video. However, I can tell you that it's really wrong, and one of the main problems I see with animal abuse nowadays is that a lot of times the actions that can be taken are really limited, especially when it's over the internet, a video in a place completely unknown to most people, uh, I oft oftentimes you will see that when it's when it's that complicated to to solve a problem, a lot of the times uh, policemen will just not really bother with it. And you know, uh, I, I, sorry, I'm kind of stuttering right now. But a few videos ago, I talked about swatting. Swatting p policemen don't really do much about it because it's kind of most of the time you gotta you gotta travel far away to do anything about it. And I think the same situation can up can be applied to animal abuse. Um, you know, obviously, if a policeman sees animal abuse, um, like, right in front of their eyes, they'll do something about it. But when it's over the internet on a video that you don't know exactly where it happened, sometimes they can get away with it easily without any sort of punishment from the police. And I just find it very wrong, too, because the people that do this oftentimes just either don't have any real emotions or they just don't think that animals have any feelings at all. And... I can tell you right now, animals feel pain. So if you're gonna use the excuse that animals don't have, um, don't feel pain as an excuse to cause physical harm to an animal, then you're completely wrong, honestly. And it's just really stupid that I that you think that. Um, but anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments. That's basically uh, my my views on it and what I think should be done about it. And you know, overall, I think it should be taken more seriously, just like many other topics that I could talk about, but I'm not going to in this video at least, because obviously we're in deathmatch and it's actually I'm actually kind of in a sticky situation right now because I have a wooden sword and not too much else to deal with here. Um, and obviously there's gonna be the guy camping at the top waiting for us to fight and then clean up like always Cause that's just how MCSG works, but let's go ahead and try to kill this guy. He's probably gonna try to flint steal me yeah, that's, what all <laughs> that's what everybody- oh Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, yeah, just, just fight it out. I don't even care Ugh, this is the problem with that. I, I just hate death matches when it comes to, um, situations like these You know what? I'm just gonna- oh god, oh god, that's, that's bad, that's bad Crap, I'm probably dead with more on bullshit, but it doesn't matter anyway. I'm probably gonna upload this anyway, so well, no matter what happens. But I would still like to try to pull off a win here. Seems kind of unlikely though. I think they're teaming. They're probably teaming on me right now. I, I saw him do the blocking thing. Um, whatever, here, I'll just try to go quickly. Ooh, actually, that guy's on fire. This is, this is looking good for me, actually. Alright, hasn't gotten a single hit on me. This guy over here, I can actually probably clean up. Ooh, this is looking, looking kind of, kind of awkward for me right now. Not gonna lie. Ah, oh, dang. All right, whatever. <laughs> that was a good try on my part, I would say. I think I could have pulled off at least one kill, but whatever. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. I'm Fan of Wheels, and I'll see you guys next time.